ladies and gentlemen, we got us a little bobby toppy. A little bobby toppy. As much as these damn things are covering my ears. The Chaz has been listening to some things out there. In the little small circle of the surrounding areas of the Eldora Speedway, there is a rumor going around that Eldora Speedway will not be having some World of Outlaw events next year. Now, there's a few things as to why this may be happening. Obviously, the video we put out uh, what was it, last month, a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, where Tony Stewart displayed some upsetness with the World of Outlaws due to a TikTok video that they had released. This also, this Tony Stewart outlaw thing, can go back all the way to Volusia a few years ago when they wouldn't allow him to set up his t-shirt trailer because he wasn't one of these contracted drivers. We talk about the perks of being an outlaw. Even someone like Tony Stewart wasn't able to trump those things and he was a little upset about that and didn't race outlaw races and wing sprint cars for a minute. But above all, I think Tony Stewart is a businessman. He's always enjoyed watching the sport of sprint car racing grow. He's wanted to be a part of growing dirt track racing. And at this point, Eldora Speedway is the number one dirt track in the world. I mean, let's just be honest about it. The Dirt Million. World 100, the dream, King's Royal, Four Crown, historical big one. Between all forms of motorsport, even Silver Crown, which Silver Crown racing, what a lot of dirt people don't understand, is was and historically has always been the mecca. And I think we need to work on making it the mecca of dirt racing. Again, it needs to solidify its place as a top form of dirt track racing. Yes, yeah, Silver Crown, not the midgets where there's 11 kitty rental carts from Keith Coons Motorsports. Congrats, Keith, by the way. Just joking with you, you know. Congrats, you know. Taking the, the lead as far as USAC uh, feature wins are concerned. So, this is a situation where not only do we compile all this information and see the, the, the power that Tony Stewart in the Eldora Speedway has... But something that a lot of people ain't understanding in this is why Tony Stewart may take this stance is Flow Racing is the broadcast network of Eldora Speedway. Now, even though the World 100 and the Dream and even the Dirt Million are not uh, World of Outlaw late model events, they are dirt car events. And dirt car is the sanctioning body for the World Racing Group, a la the World of Outlaws, the Umbrella Corporation. So Tony Stewart obviously is aligned with All-Star Circuit of Champions, obviously has aligned with Flow Racing, and has aligned himself with some pretty big names in the sport. Has all kind of respect for uh, uh, Kyle Larson, who's trying to, to start this thing off. Probably has a lot of respect for Casey Kane. Probably has a lot of respect for, for Brad Sweet. And probably don't like the disrespect that he feels he's had, obviously, from the World of Outlaws in this year and previous years as well. And there's a situation here where Tony Stewart can make a difference. You take Eldora Speedway off the World of Outlaws schedule and you have you a big problem. I'm assuming over this high limit situation. If you're not going to let these guys off, all right, you're going to lose a track. You're going to lose one of the biggest tracks on your schedule if you if you don't play nice here. But anyways, what do y'all think of that? The rumor of... Tony Stewart and Eldora Speedway cutting ties with World of Outlaw events at Eldora Speedway. And what kind of impact would that make on the sport if that was to happen? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's just on the rumor mill. And what goes around comes around, right? So that means we'll catch you next time. But this is how we ride. This is how we do. Riding mud, sliding up